What's up guys, this is Sunny, back with another video and today I have a quick unboxing for you guys so I ordered a case from AliExpress, it's been like maybe 10 to 15 days ago and I just received the case today if you guys don't know AliExpress, AliExpress is something like Amazon or eBay uh, somewhere in China I think and uh, if you guys want I can leave a link in the description for you guys now the case I have here is a Jonesbo C2 uh, case it's an ITX slash MATX case. It's an ITX case, but you can fit a uh, MATX uh, uh, motherboard also. So you can fit a ITX motherboard or a uh, MATX, like a micro ATX motherboard. So real quick, let's just unbox. Alright, uh, there's a little uh, guide, you know, how to like put everything so you guys can see right here. And the case is really, really light. So I paid around $59 for this case. Alright, so as you guys can see the case right here, wow case is really light guys all right guys so let's just look at the case real quick the first thing first I would like to mention I do like the build quality the build quality is really good and the case is really steady it's not like uh, wobbly or anything it feels really steady and the case is built out of like aluminium so basically you it's, it's it's not paint or anything so it's not gonna get scratch or anything so that's one good thing I really uh, like so real quick let's just uh, open the side panel I already removed the two screws on the side and the two screws in the back as you guys can see so basically what I have to do just pull pull the panel okay gently as you guys can see and the panel is also really light guys as you guys can hear all right now, now let's just uh, look at the port real quick so as you guys can see right here uh, we have a power switch there is no reset switch and also there is a USB 3.0 and then we have a headphone port and then we have a, a microphone port and then we also have a USB 2.0 right here now let's look at the inside real quick as you guys can see we can install a 2.5 hard drive or SSD also we can install a 3.5 uh, hard drive okay right behind uh, basically we have to take this uh, take this panel off uh, there's a two screws on the front and there should be another two screws in the back so that's one so good as you guys thing. can see there's like uh, three expansion slots uh, cover right here so basically this case was uh, built for a ITX motherboard but you can also go with a micro ATX motherboard so basically micro ATX only comes with like uh, two or three uh, PCI uh, slots so that's the reason there is like three uh, expansion slots cover as you guys can see now you can install one graphics card and maybe one uh, Wi-Fi card like a PCI card or a Ethernet card so I think uh, three PCI uh, you know expansion slot option is really good and uh, also you can fit a full-size uh, power supply so you don't have to get yourself like a SFF smaller power supply because those are really expensive and you can install um, ITX motherboard uh, 170 millimeter uh, by 170 millimeter uh, ITX motherboard or you can install a 245 millimeter by 215 millimeter uh, MATX motherboard anything bigger than that it's not going to fit there's one thing I'm really disappointed about this case uh, there's only one fan option as you guys can see right in the bottom you can install 120 millimeter fan or 140 millimeter fan uh, exhaust or intake I do recommend installing a 
uh, intake fan here so uh, you know the fan can pull air inside but there's only one problem all the hot air will exhaust out from the power supply because there is no other uh, option for air to exhaust out as you guys can see right on the top there is no fan option or anything I don't know why they didn't just uh, give a option for like a 120 millimeter fan option on the top or 140 millimeter fan because that would help really help a lot because if you put like a um, like a i7 uh, like a 7700k or i7 uh, 6700k uh, processor uh, you're definitely going to put a uh, put a uh, cooler but i think uh, basically what you can do what i think i will do maybe uh, maybe i'll just put a aio uh, maybe put like a corsair h55 uh, liquid cooler then you can install the cooler right here but still um, you know uh, they should have uh, give us the option for a fan on the top now let's look at the wires real quick so what do we have so we have a uh, USB uh, 3.0 plug right here that's really good and also we have a uh, USB 2.0 plug as you guys can see right here and then we have the audio plug right here and then also uh, the front panel connector for the power and everything right here so guys I think for $59 this case is a great case at least for the build quality i really like and the thing i like about this case the case is really light guys um i think the case weights around like uh, uh two pound and uh, around uh, nine ounce uh, i will have like if you guys want to see like a full review video i can make a, a review video for you guys i can review this case for you guys uh but for now the case uh uh case uh Width is around uh, 200 millimeter, and the height is around 270 millimeter, and the depth is around uh, 224 uh, millimeter. So that's really uh, good. The case is not all that big. I definitely like this case for uh, like a Hackintosh build. I really do think a Hackintosh build will look really good, or it's definitely a great case for like a uh, HTPC for your living room. You know. Uh, so uh, I don't know guys uh, let me know what you guys think uh, you guys like this case uh, if you guys have any question you guys want me to build like a gaming PC with this case or build a hack and touch just let me know uh, comment at the bottom real quick so as you guys can see the bottom so the feet basically I installed those feet though fit doesn't uh, uh, I had to install all these four fits okay uh, and uh, as you guys can see the fan uh, installation option as you guys can see also comes with the filter you know so that's really good overall great case let me know what you guys think uh, you know leave in the comment below if you have any other question I'll also leave a link where you can buy this case from so this case is not available in US uh, you have to buy this case from uh, AliExpress.com uh, uh, basically they are somewhere in China uh, and like I said, AliExpress is basically something like Amazon or eBay. So guys, that should be it. Peace.